Hey again, let me talk in this video about the scope. So I will just create a new file. I will start with scope and here we go. So now if I say, I define a function, name it show info and I will do it for purpose to show you some errors. And this show info is, could receive name as a string. So if you see, just very simple function, show info, names as string. She just give me error. Hey, you cannot name show info. You already name it show info in other file, which is the polymorphism one. What do you mean? I mean, if you have it defined here, it's exactly look like you defined here, because all of them under one, they all these consider as a one class, one big class, multiple file in one class, because I didn't use object oriented programming yet. I could approve that. So show them for you see it here. I, if I I call main, if I just disable this one for now, I have ability to access to show info from the other class. Okay, if I say show this way, show info, see it easily. I could just call that function, and I could get result also. So I cannot have two functions as same name same number of parameters we agree about that but now the problem because in different files you say yes why i can't yeah you can't because all of them under all of them sorry under one package so how we solve this issue we'll solve this issue later on when we will have when we learn object oriented programming and how we could put this one scope in a class different from this class so we will avoid this issue see i still able to access that function so to solve this issue, I cannot name it as a show info. I could name it show user info, okay? And this one should be called show user info. So name, I would assume someone who just when to get the name, it just print the name for us. Okay. Good. Now if I just add a simple debugger and I try to run step by step. Okay, so now Hussein, if you see. I could just send it to it and it will receive Hussein and it will print it to us and bam, we should be all set. Now let's go to the next level, the variable level. So what if I, I would assume this one is just a variable here, name it name. I would use variable for purpose. I should use val because this one is not, no one updated, but I will use it for purpose and I will just pass it there and we'll see what is the going on. There we go. I arrange this line. If you see, to create in the memory, in the main stack, see, the main stack now have a variable name it Hussein. Now I'm calling functions that I'm going to another stack. If you see, I have another stack, totally different from that stack. The, fact, the variable name it name here is copy from this one, it's not the real one. If someone updated, I, you cannot update it, but if you update it for somehow, you will not be able. You is not will not be updated the main track because this one is just you just we are just sending copy from this one to this function and could use it do whatever. See even the stack is different now. The stack name it user info. So user info could print that name as you see in the screen and it came back to us. Now what's going on? What if I just define a variable here and I don't send it? Could that function access to it? Well, we just say these are two different stacks. This one, this one, this variable is defined inside this function, this one. So because it defined inside the function is local variable. What we name it? Local variable. Only the, the function or the things inside this block could access to it. Otherwise, no one could access to it. For that reason, this one wasn't able to access to the name. If I want something to be shared between two different factions, I should make it global. What I mean by global? That means I should go here and say the variable name is something sitting and it is a global. Okay? I just say, hey, this one is named sitting, is a global, and I would I would initialize it with null as a start point. Now I no longer need to define it here anymore, just I could initialize it with value. Now what that mean when I made it global that means it could be uh, you could access to it from this function and you could access to it from this function and this function now 
could update it. So now this one could say, hey, his name is Welcome, whatever the name is. You could update it. Okay. That's good. So let me just run it and see what different, what make it a difference. So sometimes you need to have a variable to be shared by between multiple functions. You should make it a global. So to be access, you'll learn more about these identify identifiers, global, local, these things, and when we go to the class on object oriented programming. So there you go. Now I have a name. If you see the name already defined, I think. And already by default it is null, doesn't have anything. So now see I have already name and already defined as null, doesn't have anything. I initialize it now with the Hussein. Now when I call other function, still that one as a public, as a static, a variable for all. So this one is easy, you could access to it. And it change, change it, it change it to welcome Hussein. And now it just changed it to welcome Hussein and it came back. That's mean if I just print the name here, then the name here, I will see a different results. I will show you in a second. So just, just run it back again and see what's the different. So see, because, because this one is shared, so if this one updated, this one will get the update. Well, so there we go. I have, I have Hussein. Now Hussein is, uh, name is empty. It followed with Hussein. Now when you go to, and I printed as just Hussein. In the main faction, I went to other faction and I changed the value for that variable. Change it to welcome Hussein. If I print it now, I see welcome Hussein. That's good. Now, when I go back here, I still have it updated because this one, this guy updated to me because to share it. Now, this one just could do whatever with it. Just print it. You see, I just see it again. Welcome Hussein. So yeah, this is what I want to share you. Just try to put slash in in this, so you will you will see the output in different lines, make it better for you. So yeah, this is all what I want to share with you in this video. Hopefully everything was clear and good. It wasn't that hard. All what you have to know, if you have a variable defined inside one block or one function, you cannot access to it from different functions. Same thing if you have a variable defined inside a if statement or for loop. You cannot access to it from the outside the loops. For example, if I suppose I have variable for loop i in 1 to 10, okay, and I define something here var, var age equal 22, so definitely you cannot access to the age here. Why? Because this is a local variable. This is local, just is it, when, why it's local? Because it's just local for this one. It could be accessed only inside this block. You cannot access it from the outside the block. To access to it from the outside the block, you know, you should just make it public, available for both of them. So yes, same thing about the function. Function is a block of code, so anything defined in it, it will be accessed only by the function. To make it public, just put it on the top. Here we done. Thank you for watching. And